Kate Bush has shot to the top of the charts again with her single Running Up That Hill, thanks to its appearance on hit Netflix show Stranger Things. But her newfound chart success 37 years after the iconic track was released is in danger of coming crashing down, literally. The famously reclusive singer lives in a cliffside mansion in Devon which is perilously close to falling into the sea. She reportedly bought the 200-year-old hideaway for £2. 5 million in 2005 so she could live a quiet life away from obsessive fans. Although in 2012, an American fan broke into her seaside home with a £3,000 Tiffany engagement ring in a warped bid to propose to the already married star. But Devon Live reports the mansion near Kingsbridge on the South Devon coast is already on the edge of the cliff, and it's getting even closer. Get all the biggest showbiz news straight to your inbox. Sign up for the free Mara Showbiz Newsletter. Council officials have warned the area is in grave danger of toppling into the sea below. Steve Gardner, of Devon County Council, said, that particular stretch of coastline is always on the move. It is always falling away. It is just nature, the land is very soft there and susceptible to storm damage. If you live there you can either accept it and let your house fall into the sea. Or you can take action to prevent further danger, but that can cost hundreds of thousands of pounds. As such maintenance would not be covered by the council, this could prove a costly exercise. Explaining what owners can do to try and save their cliffside properties, Mr. Gardner said, you can attach netting to the cliff face. Another option is spraying it with concrete, although these are very expensive and not something the council would pay for. Kate's isolated property is set in 17 acres and although it is on the cliffside, it is surrounded by rolling countryside. Such is her need for privacy that Kate campaigned for a decade to close a footpath that led around her home, which was eventually granted. But while it is closed off from public access, there has already been a huge landslide since she has lived in the impressive property. The 63-year-old, who is originally from Kent, owns another property in Berkshire, but the Devon house is her main home. It is widely believed to be the inspiration behind her 2005 album, Ariel. Kate is married to guitarist Dan McIntosh and has a 23-year-old son called Albert, who is known as Bertie. In her 80s heyday she had huge hits such as Wuthering Heights, This Woman's Work, Babushka and Hounds of Love. She returned to the spotlight for a one-off tour in 2014, her first since 1979, so could her recent number one persuade her to tour again? Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at trinitamirror.com or call us direct 0207 29